Hey guys, and welcome to update video 120. Let's jump right in and talk about the new features first. We've added highlights to the game to help you identify the interactive objects in the game world. Highlights are applied to all floating objects for now, but in the future they will be visible on all interactive objects, including blocks. Now, you'll know that if you've ever accessed a Blueprints menu in the past, there was a delay for the browser window to fill up with creations. This was caused by gathering all the data for every Blueprint available at once in the background. We tweaked the system a bit, so from now on, the Blueprints are shown as a list with thumbnails nearly instantaneously. The data is loaded just for the Blueprint that you select, not all of them. Now, let's talk about bug fixes. Remember those custom skins that were crashing your game? Well, now, if you load one, the game won't crash, but be careful, as your character may die due to the lack of oxygen until this custom skin has been fixed by its creator. A link to the guide of how to fix custom skins is in the description box below. And speaking of oxygen, we fixed the issue of oxygen levels being reset to zero in a room by grinding or making any small change inside. It is now safe to keep the helmet off. We also fix the inertial dampeners, so ships can hover over planets and not slowly fall towards the surface anymore. Lastly, we tweak the control scheme a bit. Hotkeys are now accessible via the control key. From now on, the control key has only this function, so it may take a couple of minutes to get used to. For the list of bug fixes, check the change log in the description box below. And that is all for this week. Let us know what you think and keep the comments coming. And as always, fly safe.